Hey Chapo Online friends, you caught me right before I was about to go to the store. Do you want to hop in and join me? I'm just going to turn on some music if that's okay. Hey, I love this song, The Fruit of the Spirit. We were talking about this last week. We talked about the first three, love, joy, and peace. Say, while you're here, we should talk about the next three. Patience, kindness, and goodness. Now, kindness and goodness, those are very similar. Kindness is caring about other people and looking out for them or helping them. And then goodness, well, the Bible talks about the goodness of God as part of his character or what he's like. And that's who he is. God is good. So as we follow Jesus, we can become more like him and that quality too. Goodness. Now patience, that one is kind of tricky. Hold on just a second. Come on! Why are you stopping? I do not have all day. Gosh, this traffic is the worst. Okay, I'm kind of getting super tired of waiting here. Let's finish the fruit talk when we get to the store. Okay, I need to grab some cleaning supplies, and I think I got everything here. But let's keep talking about the fruit of the Spirit. I'm just going to hop in this line over here. Wow, <laughs> this line is really long. What's going on? Why do they not have more people working? Whew. Why is everything taking so long today? You know what? Like, I don't feel like cleaning anymore. All right, deep breaths. Gosh, today has been challenging and I am getting frustrated. But that's okay. We are going to finish our Fruit of the Spirit talk. But hold on. Can you see that? There's a fair over there. We should go. Let's go get on some rides. Well, this is super cool. I had no idea that the fair was going to be here today. I love getting on rides. Come on, let's get farther into the line. And here we are again. Waiting. And waiting some more. I can't take it anymore. I am sick and tired of having to wait for everything today. Why can't I just get on the ride like right now? You know what? I'm leaving. This has been a hard day for me. Maybe some music will help to calm me down. Oh wow. Love, joy, peace, patience. We didn't talk about patience yet today. And do you know what patience is, friends? I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but patience is being able to wait. And not just wait, but wait with a good attitude. I did not have a very good attitude about waiting today. I got upset driving in the car. Come on, why are you stopping? I do not have all day. I got mad about waiting in the store. And I was upset about the line at the fair. Waiting. I did not have any patience today, did I? Gosh, that is not good. Patience is a fruit of the spirit. And not the fruit that grows in gardens or on trees, but spiritual fruit that grows inside of us. But it's not something I can grow by myself. I need God's help to grow good fruit. Now, I think it might be a good idea to stop and grab my Bible. Now, when the Bible talks about patience, it's more than just waiting for something we want. Sometimes, patience means waiting for God to do something that only He can do. Like an answer to something that you've been praying about. Patience is when you choose to trust God's promises. It means that you believe no matter how much time something takes, no matter how difficult it is to wait, that God is still good. 
and that God always keeps his promises. Now, it's not always easy to wait, but God can help us. And you know who is patient with us? God is. In 2 Peter 3, 9, it says, The Lord is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Now, God is patient with us, even when we aren't with him. He's patient because that's who he is. He can help us be patient with things in our day, like traffic. And he can help us be patient and trust him when we are waiting for the big stuff too. You know what? I think it's time we start that song over because I need all of the fruit of the spirit today. How about you friends? Are you ready to dance? today and thank you for being patient with me and my not so great attitude while waiting. Now with prayer and God's help, I'm working on it. Thankfully, God has patience with me and grace, especially on days like today. Now God loves us so much and I think this is the perfect time for Ephesians 3:18 to help us remember how much that he does. Will you help me with that today, friends? And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, just how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. Ephesians 3.18. Great job. Thank goodness for God's love, His grace, His mercy, and his patience. And before we go today, will you pray with me? Dear Lord, thank you so much for today. Thank you for a special time with friends as we learn all about the fruit of the Spirit. Lord, I ask that you help me and everyone watching today to be patient with each other, with ourselves, as we strive to become more and more like you every single day. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, that's all I've got for you today. It was so good to hang out with you. Now remember, God loves you and I do too. Have a blessed rest of your day. Bye-bye.